up YouTube Patrick Michael Hayes back here with another video in this particular video this is going to be a, a money video and um, right now I've got uh, some two dollar bills out here now the two dollar bills they was um, these particular two dollar bills well, if you can see it 1976 when these were old the winds getting up the winds getting up Now, these, these particular $2 bills, I always thought that they, they looked really good. Let me get it up here. See if it looks better. There we go. There's a Declaration of Independence on the back of it there. I hope that shows up in the video real good. But now, in the front of it, we have Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson. Now these video, these uh, this one here is, was made in 1995, but these other two dollar bills I got here, these were 1976. 1976, you can see it right there. Um, I took these to a coin coin shop dealer, these old 1976 bills, and he told me that uh, they wasn't worth anything. They're just worth two dollars. So what I've been doing is I've been uh, spending them, just trying to spend them, and um, let me get the video on me if I can. I've just been trying to spend them, and um, I went to McDonald's and and I gave uh, the clerk there uh, one of the two dollar bills, and it was a, a young girl. She was a teenager. She took one look at that bill, and then she had to call her shift supervisor over, and. Uh, and she said, uh, uh, are we allowed to accept these? And that shift supervisor took that $2 bill and looked at it, and she said, uh, she playfully kind of showed it right to her, and she said, you didn't know we had $2 bills? And the, the young girl said, oh, well, I knew we had two $2 bills. I've just never seen one out in circulation. My dad has got one, but it's, um, it's uh, in plastic. But anyway, they took the $2 bill, and uh, and all was forgiven, but but anyway, I, I thought that was a little funny story. Now this next one thing I got here is is uh, Susan B. Anthony dollars, 1979. As a young kid, I used to I used to uh, use these and pay for them and everything, but a lot of people didn't like them because they're they're similar to a quarter in size. And uh, the next thing we got here, now I consider this, it's uh, copper, and I consider that to be redneck gold, is what I say copper is, redneck gold. Now, I've got some cans out here, some aluminum cans, and there, there's a good shot of them. Now, a lot of people don't like to fool around with aluminum cans. And uh, I consider aluminum cans to be redneck silver. Is what I consider it to be. Now, there's a good shot of them. Hope that looks real good in the video. Let's get a kind of... Hear that noise? That's the sound. Now, a lot of people would look at this and say, oh, that's a pile of junk. Well, what I would say is that's a pile of pennies. This right here is, is money in the bank, in my opinion. One time you need money, you just you just get them right there, take them down there, and sell them, and they'll give you money at the scrapyard. But anyway, I just wanted to say this real quick. Now this this is this is going over four minutes, so this is 